Well, I recently ran into this port report from Prudential Insurance Company, who are really studying the gig economy and how people are making money on the internet by using, you know, the gig work. You know, these are platforms and stuff like that you can do, make extra income at home. And, and there's one group that they talk about, and, and that's in the Gen X. I don't know if you're a Gen X. They cover all the uh, uh, areas, but Gen X are people who are from 36 to 55. Yeah, and they're now on the average person that are, is working in the so-called you know in the internet e economy and making money at home this way is earning like thirty-six thousand dollars, and they're only doing it with thirty hours of work. So it's either a part-time or an extra part-time work. But more importantly about this, how they make this thirty-six thousand dollars is why they're doing it. Okay, or who these people are. See, that's what they did a, a study. Of. So these are people 36 to 55, and they're either these kinds of people. They're single, including divorced, widowed, or separated, with gig work as their single source of income. So this is their, they're living this way. Okay. Or they work most of the hours per week of any generation, but still earn less than the boomers. Actually, baby boomers also use the gig, but they're making more than these people. Uh, so they only have a high school education. So these are people with only a high school education. So now they're working 30, 000, uh, 30 hours a week and, and earning like $36,000. Well, if they don't have to drive to work, that may be a livable wage some, uh, some places. Okay, be, uh, they're doing gig work due to the circumstances beyond their control. Um, so in other words, the reason they're working is, you know, something happened in their life beyond maybe they got fired, can't get a job or something like that. And, and they're uh, working this way. Okay, they're struggling financially and need money to make ends meet. Now that sounds like a lot of people, right? So they're using these gig economy jobs to do that. Okay, they have financial wellness challenges. <laughs> That sounds like a, a psychological thing. I have a financial wellness challenge. Well, yeah, they don't have enough money. That's the challenge. Uh, due to living a single income household. And like millennials, uh, that's the younger people, having relatively low income and little access to employer-sponsored benefits and retirement plans. So they have maybe another job or a full-time job, and they're using this because they don't have enough benefits in their current work. Or they have limited potential to improve their financial wellness due to living in a single-income household. Okay, uh, being in mid-career, doing mostly non-professional work, and already working nearly full-time hours. So these are the kind of people that are using this to make ends meet. Uh, they they <laughs> be least satisfied with their current situation and most interested in switching to a traditional job. So that means people are working in the good economy. They're not looking at this for career motive, at least those people from 36 to 55. Other people are because <laughs> they see the future as maybe this is it. But people in their uh, 36 to 55 aren't. They're using this as extra income. They're using it as a, a bypass because they want to get a better full-time job. So that's why this is the growth in that. And there's millions and millions of people doing this this way. That's why I came out with a report that shows you, how, it's a free report that shows you how to take a free course on how to make income in the gig economy. And, and this course really is by San Francisco, the city because they want people. I mean, this is the, the home of gig, gig all, all these gigs are really created in San Francisco. So they know this better than anybody else. And the people finish this course, and it's a short little course you take on the internet, uh, average about uh, $1,800 a month of income. That's when they start. So after they fit the course and they start uh, you know, doing these gigs at home, <laughs> they're averaging $1,800 a month. And, that's, and they don't have to worry about being paid. It's not like the old time economy. This is all prepaid stuff. And um, the, the platform take care of all the nonsense. It's sort of like having your own business without all the bullshit of having your own business. <laughs> because people give you jobs. They, uh, they check out the people. You make sure you get paid. They do the paperwork and all, all this kind of stuff. Uh, so that's why this is... Uh, the growth area in our country. And I want to make sure that people know about this. So if you want to work an extra 10 hours a week or two hours a week, 
or one hour a week and have extra income, or you're getting through a hump of some kind, or you lost your job, or who knows what. You know, we all have those times. And this is something you really have to learn. I think it's an important skill. And those people that are part of uh, Member Help, I have a free report that shows you all about this. It's the biggest report that's ever put out for consumers to learn about this. All the programs are in there, uh, courses, the free courses are there, and who to apply for what, and, and who's giving out the work, and how to get it, and more sources I've seen than anywhere else on the internet. But I'm biased, so don't trust me. <laughs> so I'll see you at Let's Go Help. I hope you join us.